communities don't exist to be so they can serve me as an individual. I need to lend a hand, and if everybody lends a little bit of a hand, things get done. And this is living proof that that can in fact happen. Hmm. So we got the schoolhouse in 1938. The schoolhouse was in a state of disrepair. The schoolhouse was falling apart. It was a big gaping hole in the back of the schoolhouse where a tree had fallen in. If we didn't do something quick, we were going to lose it. Yeah, I just couldn't bear to to think that that bell's going to go down and no one's going to do anything about it, you know. The community had a strong desire to keep it in the community. I just got on the phone and started calling different people up and... Here we are. <laughs> we had already been going a, about two, three years over at the schoolhouse before we acquired the community hall. We had heard that it was purchased by somebody on the internet. He said, if you can do the same thing to that hall you've done to that schoolhouse, your community, I'm going to give it to you. I almost fell off my feet right then. It was in pretty rough shape. It was a shell of a building. It had not been touched for decades. Clarence and me, felt that we could do it. Started working at it and, and uh, got clean up committees. And, and it's a community project. Everybody that's uh, interested and uh, helps out. Everybody pitched in and helped where they could and how they could. Anyone in the city, they would always say to us, well, what do you do out there in the country? To us, the hall was, was it. It holds deep, deep value to the individuals here. It was a kind of a meeting place for everyone. Oh, we had more fun in this hall than you can imagine. There were dances uh, round and square. We put on many plays here, and there were a lot of people in the area that cooperated. It was just so beautiful. This is just wonderful, the way it's getting remodeled and reset. A lot's been done with very little. When times get rough, People help each other. I think it's important because it's an anchor here in Alte. This and the schoolhouse, of course, and the church. Those three things have really kept this place glued together. So the vision is to pass that on to the younger generation, that they'll see the value in getting to know the folks in your community, working together. That's what built these communities to start with. What's holding them together is the prospect of going back to having dinners and dances and whatever here at this building. This is an outstanding spot. <laughs> it is something special. Well, I'm hoping that those who see this will be inspired to say that we could do the same thing too. There are communities like this all over the place where people grow up and then they leave. Mm -hmm. But even in Alte, they're seeing sort of the small surge of people coming back to their community. So you have these older members wanting to make a place for some of the younger ones coming back and wanting to call Alte their home too. It's, it's just a wonderful thing to see. A place like Alte that is so small, um, it's just so full of really interesting people. Such a perfect illustration of what our relationship as the Community Foundation is to mm -hmm. the people that we serve. Just the love and the passion that they had for their small community and that they've done all this under the radar. Yes. And that's why the connection to the Good Works Project it just makes so much sense to be able to lift that up and show the greater community what, what this small group of citizens are doing. It's a story we can tell for generations here at the Community Foundation. I think it really illustrates what we can do when the community calls us, mm -hmm. and we love when the phone rings. <laughs>